Oh god, there's this horrible mess of tangle crap I need to undo. I think I've gotten myself a little in too deep. Speaking of Tangle Deep, we're throwing chairs at it. Tangle Deep. It's by Impact Gameworks, developed on the Unity engine. Uh, according to its description, enter a magical world of Tangle Deep, a beautifully polished dungeon crawler inspired by classical 16-bit RPGs. Colorful characters, a unique job system, tons of skills, items, and diverse environments with deep, turn-based roguelike gameplay. A different adventure every time you play. Kind of like how Rogue works. This is the Share QA edition. This is where we take a look at a game. Sometimes they send it to us. In this case, uh, Impact Gameworks sent us some peas. Thanks a lot for that. Peas uh, or keys? And we... Yes. Okay. They sent, us, they sent us like a bunch of frozen peas. Green penis? Or it's country goodness and <laughs> green penis. <laughs> um, wait, that's, I'm, not, I'm not reading that. I quit. No. Um... <laughs> So, uh, this is Share QA Edition. This is where uh, we take a look at some games. Uh, we play them a little bit. We maybe do a little bit of QA that the developers did not do before they released it. Then we tell you our final thoughts. We rate it on the chair scale. One chair means that's garbage. Two chairs means meh. Three chairs means it's pretty good. And four chairs means that it is maze balls. And we got our categories of doom mixed with the working shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So, without further ado, then... Did Tangle Deep make with the working? On hey man, Ubuntu? um, Kombu 1710 Ryzen 1700 now clocked at as he scrolls up to the top 3.7 gigajoules. BIOS update, memory running at 3200. That that's a new that's a new thing. Um, yeah man, it the game works. It launches, it runs, but you know what? I saw something I haven't seen in a long time, motherfuckers. <laughs> that's the Unity scream of nope. Boom. All right. Sorry. New rule. 2018. Definitely enforcing it. If I see that bullshit in 2018 in your video game, automatic minus two chairs on that shit. So yeah, your game technically works, but unfuck yourself, son. Two chairs. Now, I, I, I got a question about that. Does that mean in 2019, minus three chairs for Unity screaming? That seems like a reasonable thing. It does now. It's exponential <laughs> okay. chairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, no, fuck that launcher is jank. It doesn't even remember your goddamn resolution settings, which is really annoying. And your graphical options are no V-Sync, V-Sync, or alternative V-Sync. Right. Which I guess is what, which, which is, I guess, <laughs> whatever uh, v- that means. <laughs> v- v- V-Sync as implemented by 4chan. Who knows? Uh, yeah, on Fedora 26, 64 bit with the i7 6700K, GTX 980, 32 gigs of RAM, bunch of solid state drives. Everything works. It doesn't run badly. I mean, it can't run badly. Look at it. <laughs> Two chairs. <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the launcher, for me anyway, remembered the uh, settings I changed. I set it to, uh, it defaults to 720p windowed, and I changed it to 1080p full screen, and it remembered it. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that uh, Unity scream of nope is completely useless. There's... No reason these couldn't be in-game settings. The in-game settings are even have like the frame rate cap thing. So even the V-Sync bullshit could very well be in-game. Two chairs. Boom. Yeah, so that, that, that that's use your chairs for mixed with working. How about the shiny and sounds? So I, I'll, I'll, I'll take the lead on this. Because, you know, Final Fantasy was released in 1987. And computer graphics mm-hmm. have moved on since then. And let's be real, tw- playing this on a 28-inch UHD monitor does not do this game any favors at any resolution higher than, like, 1024 by 768. <laughs> um, I mean, like, the the, 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 the sprites are all well-defined and whatnot, but it's not anything special. Again, it looks like something out of Final Fantasy 2 or 3 or 4. Not 5, though. Um, and the sound design is kind of meh, because it's like some Nobuo Uimetsu-esque noodling on, on the piano. It's it's kind it's tame. It doesn't have any particular flavor to it. It's just kind of there, so it gets the mess score of dos for me. Yeah, man, this thing looks like a JRPG if it had like a learning disorder. Um, <laughs> I'm not not to say it's poorly done, but yeah, it's amateur hour pixelated meh. That's what it is. Plus, what is wrong with your face? Uh, my main character's like all drop trodden. Fu- it's just fucked up looking. It's like if I woke up in the middle of the night, saw that shit. Uh uh-uh. uh. Old Deadvin, man. I a drop over of a raging, raging erection. Um, 
I don't know if it's got sounds or not. I didn't bother to cut them on because I was too busy trying to play the fucking game, trying to make myself get interested in it. And uh, yeah, this is a kaleidoscope of nope for me, but I'll talk more about that in the fun section. I'm going to give you two chairs because technically that's what you get in the QA, man. You put shit on the screen and it makes beeps and boops, but that's all. Yeah, it does let you disable VSync, uh, but it, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it does have the uh, FERPS cap option in the options menu, which is nice because VSync tends to not work so well, especially with Unity on Linux. And so if you just can cap the, uh, the FERPS to 60, it stops certain video cards, like mine, from uh, going all coal, coil whiny and shit. Because this 1080, and this is a known problem with the Gigabyte G1 series, um, they have a lot of coil whine. Uh, so that's something I appreciated myself. Uh, the graphics are kind of meh. The music borrows heavily from other dungeon crawler, roguelike type games, but it works, I guess. If I had to come up with an example of a game that has some charm to it, even though its presentation isn't really great, I guess Tangle Deep would fit. I would give it three chairs, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to average out to two. <laughs> it will, and leave it to Pedro to complain about the free 1080 that he got. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I didn't complain, I just say that it's a known you, issue. No, okay? you, 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 you're straight, straight, straight up complaining, <laughs> Mr. Titso Bitch. That's two chairs for shining the sounds. How about controls? So, Mr. Titso Bitch, continue on with your little tirade. It's roguelike. I don't know how you guys play roguelikes, judging by your uh, things in the notes there, but for me, it's a one-handed game. I even went to the Rocat settings, set all of the uh, key bindings to um, the extra mouse buttons what I have, and it, it's completely a one-handed game. If you want to switch hands at one point, you can just use keyboard then, and it works just as well. Uh, I... I honestly don't have an issue with this game. It's a roguelike. It's four chairs, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, like a Ben, you wanna? Uh, sure, girlfriend. Um, <laughs> this thing controls like poo. It does. <laughs> yeah, it's a, to Pedro's argument. Pedro would say, but then it's supposed to control like poo. It's like maybe that's not a good game mechanic. Then even with the gerbil <laughs> and a keyboard. Yep, poo all over the place trying to control it because it's supposed to control like that, Vin. You don't know what you're talking about. And with something like this, yeah, like Jordan, I'm with you, man. You kind of get the vibes like maybe late NES, early SNES days. So it makes you pick up things like, I don't know, a fucking controller. This thing is absolutely tits hopeless with a Steam controller. That I have never tapped out of trying to configure something with a Steam controller until Tangle Deep. I did. Listen, you can fight this thing. You can make it work. Hell, this game's like, this is how you move diagonally. If a fucking game's got to tell me how I got to move fucking diagonally, yeah, there might be a goddamn issue or two. So, <laughs> speaking of two, that's how many chairs it gets. Yeah, so, remember what I mentioned earlier on in the Steam segment, how there's some issues with games not working with the paired DualShock controller? This is one of them, and I'm fucking <laughs> sick of it, so you're going to lose two chairs off the bat just for that from now on i'm done no no more free passes um i'm also not a fan of like mapping the mapping of the q e z and c keys because they should do diagonal movement um i shouldn't have to switch to the numpad because if the the numpad will do di diagonal movement with seven nine one and three which is which is nice if you're doing the numpad thing but i default to was because i am a righty even though my left hand was shut up um <laughs> directional keys go 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 in the left hand that's the, the, the point i'm getting at any anywho um yeah every, every uh, beyond that everything controls relatively fine you either click or you you point in the direction and you move and the other guys move and sometimes you use an ability and so on and so forth yeah so I mean, i'll give it i'll give it two chairs just because you got to start working with that pair dual shot controller brad it's a supported controller two chairs. on your steam no <laughs> two chairs. Yeah. i'm just so so mad so let's put a bow on it ben did you have fun last but not least man fuck this game i tried i got almost two hours in this i don't know did, did you guys get any it wasn't shitting out achievements i'll give it that it's got that going for it 
Um, I got four. Okay. I think I got, I got, one, I got, I got two. Um, this is kind of turn-based. Nope. Not really. I don't know. Cause you can just hold down and keep attacking things dying. You go into menus. When I move, you move. And yeah, that, that's another thing. That's like extra nope on your nope fucking sandwich right there. Uh, you go into menus, start looking at with just like, it's just boom, spreadsheet simulator. Not looking for that in a fucking video game. I'm just telling you, that's my preference. Cause this is the fun section where I get to talk about shit like that. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing in this game that could make me enjoy it. Hipster pixels, turn base, move when you move type shit like Pedro just threw down. It is really, I don't know. All this thing needs is a full motion video intro of like fucking Spice World and it would be the worst <laughs> game ever made. Uh, what do we got on the price? Yeah, $14.99. And I'm saying for me. Some people might really dig this. I can tell this was made with love. This isn't fucking shovelware. Somebody had a vision, a cohesive like plan, stuck it together. And if this is your shit, go for it, man. It's not crazy price. There's a ton of stuff to do in there. I'm just the wrong demographic. So, yeah, not peace among worlds. Just one chair. Fuck that. You know, know, this isn't too bad. Go ahead, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> All right, it's not too bad a game, is what I was saying. Um, you got. I mean, it, so th- it's net hack, right? If you played net hack, if you played rogue, you know exactly what's going on. The whole move when you move thing is emblematic of the roguelike genre, since literally fucking rogue, the the, the original game yeah. that showed up on floppy disk, <laughs> uh, uh, or tapes even. It was a tape. That's right. It's that old. Uh, so you gotta you gotta plan ahead, and then you know shit appears from off screen and fucks you. It's fun because you get aoe'd. Um, but yeah, like I said, lots of inspiration from NetHack, lots of like visual inspiration from Final Fantasy. A lot of the jobs are inspired from that as well, and it's not a bad little combination. Though I will say that like the solid blue menu these days looks super crappy. Uh, all the class I played a couple of the classes. Um, they're all pretty interesting. They all have a fairly unique playstyle, all con- considering that you're still bound to that sort of forced movement. Uh, thing i actually i really like the the spellcaster the most just because you can zip around teleport and blow shit up with like uh spell templates it's good fun uh but the the, when it boils down to it this is a game that i have played dozens of times i did not pay attention in class in college because i was too busy playing netpack uh (laughs) because i could play it in terminal and wouldn't kill my battery um and it the, the additions that this game brings to the table are merely adequate. They, it's not anything particularly revolutionary. It's not something that goes, hmm, this is a mechanic that I really want to engage with. Oh, cooking? I really don't care. Um, the, the finding well, treasure that makes things well, harder? What if it was like breaking bad cooking? <laughs> do, 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 do I get actual meth at the end of it? I'm just saying it could be like a reward. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just send you, they just mail you some meth. Crafting. The, uh, yeah, craft. Yeah, we 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 got a craft, Jesse. Uh, yeah, but what 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 I'm getting at is, it is an adequate game that does its job adequately, but it's not it's not enough to push it to three chairs. It still stays in the two realm. Pedro, now you get to talk. Yeah, uh, I haven't had this much fun with a game since we reviewed Hand of Fate Two. I love roguelikes. I suck at them. I make no excuses for myself, uh, but uh, I like roguelikes. I do. It, this is another one which isn't actually terrible, and it may even take the place of Dungeons of Dreadmore just because I have beat Dungeons of Dreadmore, so I'm looking for a new roguelike to get into and, you know, actually beat. This may very well be it. It takes some elements from other RPGs, like taming monsters, turning them into pets, uh, item dungeons like your Disgaea's, uh, class switching. Uh, it The only thing that class switching does is it switches your sprite. You get to keep your previously unlocked skills, but then you also get to unlock the new skills. So that's nice. Uh, it is hard like most roguelikes, and it will kill you given half a chance, but it has a bank system to store items. If you get, like, a really good item, and um, you want to, say, I don't know, maybe feed up your new character to actually progress through the dungeon a bit faster, and, yeah, I guess I really enjoyed my time with this game because I... I don't know. I like roguelikes. It, It... 
granted, it has Ipsir pixel graphics and rather samey environments, and the music's a bit elevatory, but I liked it. I'd give it three chairs, but apparently I don't count on this one. <laughs> you really, you don't count, period, Pedro. All right, well, that, that is three chairs for Pedro. That's two chairs for us. Wrap it all up, put a little bow on it. It's two chairs for Tangle Deep. It's all right. It's a bit of okay sauce. If you like roguelikes, if you like that hack, and you're not entirely tired of it, might be uh, might be something you want to check out. Maybe wait for it to go on sale. Don't pay the uh, fifteen dollar full price. Do you guys have any closing closing thoughts before we get out here? Uh, it's a well done game for people that like that, and for people that's not. I always it. One of the things I do enjoy is taking the fucking Pepsi challenge with stuff like this because you never know this could be that game. And no, no, if you don't like turn based anything like that. You don't really like dungeon crawlers. You're not a huge fan of roguelikes. Uh, this not going to change your mind. Not the game's fault, but hey, man, is what it is. <laughs>